This is your chance to read an article that is about the darkness of the Hitler era and its impact on a family such as Ilse Solberg's, but also to see the light of discovery that was around the time when photography really spread its wings. I knew nothing about Ilse Solberg. I was working on uh, my great aunt Angelica Herla, who died in 1923, and there was an Ilse Solberg in the story. She was the partner of Anton Raderscheidt for 13 years. Uh, but then, one day, out of the blue, I got a phone call from a woman called Amy Shatton. And it turns out that Amy was the granddaughter of Ilse Solberg. Well, that was the beginning of a great adventure. I had an exhibition in 2009 that I was working on for the Art Gallery of Ontario and for the Museum Ludwig on Angelica Hurla. But in spite of that, I got on the plane and went to Atlanta, Georgia to meet Amy Chapman. Well, to my surprise, she had a wonderful treasure trove of materials on her grandmother, and more than that, a passion to bring this woman out and her talent out. She had been hidden for all these years in the shadows, and it struck me that in many ways Angelica Hurla and Ilza Salberg were the key players in the shadows who needed to be brought to the attention. Over the next five years, there was an incredible puzzle of research. There had been so little written on Ilse Solberg that uh, it was always just a sentence here, a sentence there, and it was very, very difficult to find the footnotes and all of the various trails that led me to rounding out the picture of Ilse Solberg. I was literally taking this woman bit by bit and putting her life back together again and what a riveting life it was. Well, the research and the puzzling together led me into an era and that was totally new to me. I learned about the new vision of photography. I learned about female, female photographers and what they were doing in the avant-garde. I went right into the Parisian art scene and the photography scene, and it was a fascinating world that was overshadowed by Hitler and what was going on with the Nazis. And then, as well as finding out all of these things about Ilza's life and the impact of the Nazis on her life, all of a sudden I also saw so much more about photography. I was just enchanted and I learned about cameras and I learned about cropping and, and things that were being done with solarization. All sorts of things I didn't know were part of the new world of photography things that anyone would love to learn. Five years later, I had pieced together as much as I was going to of the story of Ilse Solberg. So my article was ready, and you know what? I was really proud of it, because finally, Ilse Solberg, who died in 1947, was being brought to the world. 